right. Thank you so much for staying with Daybreak. This is the State of the Nation. We talk about matters, politics, and everything in between. By the way, there was something that came out of the Mombasa meeting that was happening between Oka and uh, President Uru Kenyatta. There's an allegation that there might be a cabinet reshuffle. And uh, Gerard Gale, I'll start with you on this. A year to the election, should we even be talking about a cabinet reshuffle? Uh, but, but Trevor, you have to note that uh, uh, this issue of of cabinet reshuffle has been in the in the cards for the last uh, quite and several uh, months, especially after the handshake. And you remember the former prime minister had to to tell the country that um, there was they were not interested with cabinet positions. You remember he denied it soon after the handshake. But it looks like, and I'm telling you, these are men who are power hungry, because what the state house uh, spokesperson. Uh, Kanze Dena yesterday issued to the country was that they were discussing the surge of COVID cases and what have you. But from the information we are getting is uh, through the Hasla uh, Nation Intelligence Bureau is that it is the opposite. They were discussing on how to craft a winning coalition agreement uh, and a winning candidate. And then they were also discussing about the cabinet reshuffle. From where I sit, one is that uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta in the next few months is running into becoming a lame duck president. It is normal for a second term uh, president. Number two, we are being told that there are cabinet ministers, uh, cabinet secretaries, sorry, permanent secretaries, chief administrative secretaries, among other senior government officials who want to contest. And you remember the ruling by Justice Mubin Gugi in Kericho High Court uh, that uh, they should at least by February would have left the offices. So I think for purposes of continuity, that could be the reason that uh, most of the positions would be filled. But, but, but what is happening is that um, these gentlemen who are now trying to craft, um, uh, craft the coalition agreement want, want to enjoy power early. And I think they just want to become part of government. And, and you remember, Musalia Mudavadi, I think in 2002, uh, became the vice president for two months just before the general election. Yeah. So I think uh, these people are trying, you know, with the belief that they will succeed President Uru Kenyatta. They would want to get their people in government so that they imagine it will assist them into getting to power. Okay. But from there, I see that this cabinet reshuffle, if it happens, it's more political convenience to try and... Uh, I think it is a way of using stick and carrot by President Uru Kenyatta and uh, try to give tam tam. You know, you give sweet to to a kid, they make them happy, and then now <laughs> they stop crying. <laughs> so they just want these gentlemen who are in one Kenya lands and ODM to test power kidogo. Alafu wafurai wafurai wa say, oh, you don't know, you know, I don't need to be even the presidential candidate, but naiza kula kula hapa kando. So at the end of the day, I think that is the, the bottom line. It's okay. more of political appointment, it's more of uh, political convenience. Yeah. But I think the worry of President Uru Kenyatta is that uh, he's risking, he's ending into the time where he'll become lame duck president. All right. Governor Mutua? You know, uh, this issue of uh, reshuffles, um, <laughs> Uh, quite interesting because I've served in uh, the national government for a long time and we had a series of reshuffles by Mwai Kibaki where we used to discuss them and look at who is being removed and everything. And uh, You see, reshuffles are done to improve efficiency in government. Yeah. But also there comes a time when you have to undertake a reshuffle to ensure loyalty. Because if you look at what is happening today, I believe that um, if anybody is going to be removed, they'll not be removed because they're not performing, yeah. but it's because their loyalty is being questioned. Yeah. It doesn't matter who you are. If you're very loyal and you're working hard, is it? You know, one, one of the reasons I did very well as government spokesperson is because my loyalty was not questioned. Yeah. If, if Mike Kibaki had, because at that time, people were, were walikuwa mgumoja hapa, mguingini hapa. Watu wanasema kuna Kibaki, lakini usiku wanaenda wanaona Raylo Dinga, na Ruto, na ODM, Kando. They are government officials. Head was said, Evi, Usini Sao, Tukifika Pali, Muchana, Weko na Kibaki. So I was loyal in a sense that if Raila, you know, I went to a meeting with Raila Odinga, and why Kibaki heard that Mutua met Raila Odinga, Kibaki would laugh. And I knew hapo, ni mempangia form. Kuna kitu natuanisha Raila hapo. Not that I have switched alliances. And it's the same thing that is happening today. And uh, we, somebody was talking about the Hasla, uh, what do you call it? Something, Intelligence Bureau. Hasla Nation Intelligence Bureau. <laughs> 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 it's, it's the same thing. Because if, if people are loyal, they don't leak secrets. 
During Kibaki's days, you never, you could never have had anything happening in government that was leaked. Mm. And I write about, I'm writing about these things in my book. I've been working very hard on my book. Mm. I was going through my notes yesterday, oh. and you know, we kept a tight, you know, a tight lead. We knew what was happening. Nobody else knew. So he kitu nakuta welcome kutano. Uh, my good friend Denis Tumbi, I'm sure to a picture. Yeah, what is going on? Welcome kutano in a It just shows that President Huru's side and team is is has people who are not loyal. Yeah. So if it takes a government reshuffle, if it takes reorganization of the people surrounding the presidency and others to actually streamline people to loyalty and to work together, then let it be so. Okay. But I don't think that there is going to be any reshuffle right now that is going to be helpful to the people of Kenya per se to help our economics. Mm -hmm. It is going to be there to ensure a sense of loyalty yeah. mm -hmm. so that to ensure that government can perform okay. and uh, what they want to do is achieved. All right.